Good evening. Two 17-year-old boys have been jailed for 10 years each for assaulting another teenager in Gloucester. They attacked him in a cellar and su subjected him to sexual humiliation and torture, including burning him with a cigarette. The judge took the unusual step of allowing the media to name the pair, Kane Lamin and Anthony Ford, after labelling them as dangerous offenders. From Gloucester Crown Court, Steve Nibbs reports. Anthony Ford from Swindon and Kane Lamin from Gloucester. The courts heard they carried out a sustained assault on their 17-year-old victim. It was, the prosecution said, gratuitous degradation in a prolonged physical and sexual attack designed to humiliate him. The nature of some of their crimes against him are too distressing to report. The pair admitted that they lured the victim down into this cellar of a house in Gloucester. At knife point, they forced him to strip naked and then sexually and physically assaulted him. Lamin mixed concrete powder and water with a mop and pushed it into the boy's face. He was then left here in the dark before he escaped to his mother's house. Judge William Hart said the ordeal your victim went through was painful. It was humiliating and it must have been genuinely terrifying. What do you make of Kane Lamin and, and Anthony Ford over what they did? Scum, utter scum. I hope they rot in hell for what they've done. It's not just to all of them, but to us witnesses as well. They've caused hell on our lives. So maybe it's time for them to have a bit of hell back. This is Anthony Ford arriving at court this morning. Before he was arrested, he told a witness in this case that the victim was lucky because he wanted to kill him. Both him and Lamin blamed the influence of drink and drugs for what they did. This was a case that nearly didn't make it to court because the victim was too ashamed to talk to you? Yes, I mean, the police, there's a small investigation team involved, but um, we obviously looked at gaining all evidence from all, all different aspects to try and uh, sort of provide the prosecution whether the victim wished to give evidence or not. But uh, he showed a lot of courage and he's come forward and given evidence. Because they are both 17, we wouldn't normally be allowed to name Kane Lamin and Anthony Ford, but the judge said it was in the public interest to lift that restriction. In sentencing, he went further, branding them as dangerous offenders within the law. It meant they had added years put on to their sentence. He said their conduct amounted to sexual torture and humiliation, and he jailed them for 10 years each. Steve Nibbs, BBC Midlands Today, Gloucester Crown Court. Coming up later in the programme,